Fish. Eat. Explore. This is the recipe for a great time. And here at Pacific Fins in Guatemala, these ingredients are flowing in abundance. Come join me as I travel to the Pacific Ocean, where the fish soar, and so will your adrenaline. Serve yourself a delicious bowl of guacamole and enjoy this adventure with me. We cannot and will not ever surrender. The pressure is on. That thing is a jumbo. Uncharted Waters with Peter Miller is presented by Salt Life. How you doing, man? I'm Peter. What's your name? Arnold. Arnold, this is Alessia. Alessia, mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. How many minutes to uh, Pacific Fins? 20. 20? 20 minutes. It's perfect. perfect. If you ever want to talk, you want to put this close to your mouth without it touching your actual lips. A lot of people are like, we're like making out with the things. I only make out with you. Perfect. The flight gives you an amazing perspective of the mountainous terrain, which is littered with volcanoes on all sides. And in no time, we are greeted with the views of the Pacific Ocean, just before descending on a beautifully manicured grass runway. Muy bien, we have arrived. Oh boy, we're getting met by the jefe. Niels Erickson, everybody. Good to see you. Thank Good, you. man. This is my girlfriend, Alessia. 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 Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto. gusto. Muchísimas gracias. Bienvenida a Guatemala. Gracias. Perfect. Fishing uh, is great. Yeah. yeah. Selfish, plenty. Okay. Uh, 30, 40 bites. Wow. wow. Per boat. Yeah. Boom. Thank, Thank you, man. We'll see you soon. Good luck, guys. Good Thank fishing. You. Thank you. Bye bye. Standing by at the dock, ready to whisk us away to the Pacific Fins Resort, is Joel. He oversees the day-to-day -day operations at the resort, making sure everything is perfect. What's been going on? You have a lot of fishing going on, a lot of eating, a lot of drinking. The day has been good for fishing. Uh-huh. We have one boat fishing today, and they catch a lot of mahi. For lunch? For lunch, yes. Okay. All right, welcome to paradise. I'm ready for those. Cheers. You wanna show me around? Yeah, I'm gonna show you around. Let's walk by the pool here. These are our friends for the weekend. And these are the guys that cut all the mahi today and sailfish probably, right? We killed the mahi. Did you, any big nice. ones? Nice. 45 today. What? Pacific Fins is located on the coast of Estapa. This colorful coastal town is deeply connected to fishing. The ocean, rivers, and canals provide sustenance and economic prosperity. Fishing is woven into their culture and is passed down from generation to generation. I had the chance to meet up with Captain Nestor and first mate Alex, both born and raised in Estapa. This week we have um, a little bit of everything. Mm -hmm. Mahis, selfish. Talking to you right now gets me so excited, like I'm like a little kid, like going, oh, my <laughs> selfish tuna. Like still, I still get that same excitement level. And I want to show you something I brought, which I normally don't bring anything here because you guys know everything. I brought a wide assortment of Livingston lures and a one-of-a-kind travel-sized live bait tube made by my good buddy, Captain Ray Rocher. And I have all the plumbing for this, right? We can suction cup it to the side. And they'll sit in here, you know, the, you know, you know the crispy tails, yeah. right? What do you think? I'm ready. I guess. <laughs> Uncharted Waters with Peter Miller is presented by Salt Life. Live salty. Citizen. Better starts now. Invincible. When you're serious. Mercury. Go boldly. Mornings at Pacific Fins are calm and relaxing. Their hospitality is second to none and always top-notch. 
making sure that you start off every day right. And there is morning, Nestor. Guys. Hey, Nestor. Hey, Peter. Oh, I see the bay well going already, huh? Is it working? Yep. Really? And it looks nice. Perfect. That's exciting. Okay, let's go catch some fish, guys. Let's go. You guys have it all. This is like probably the best spot in the world to fish. Yeah, we have uh, several species here like mahi, tuna, marlin, sailfish, roosters. Actually, we fish uh, very close to the yetis. Uh -huh. We have several species here. For bait, we're gonna stop on the sea buoy. We're gonna try to catch some blue runners. Oh, I got something. Yeah, really, really. You got a bunch. Oh, wow. What's up, Browdy? Look at you working your baits. I learned from the best. <laughs> this is probably good for us, right? We have, we have six in there yet? Yeah. We're already good? Yeah, we already get there. Okay. As we were making our way to the sailfish grounds, we spotted a floating log about 10 miles offshore. See Dorado there? We got Mahi? Yeah. All right, get the baits in the water. There he goes. Honey, we got a bite. There he Woo! is. Woo! Oh go. my God, look. There you go. Take it. Yeah. There you go. Nice one, Woo! huh? Nice. Woo! Oh my God, that's awesome. Wow, that's a nice wow. one, Alessia. Oh my God. You mind if I get to go? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, yeah. baby! Woo! Yeah. <laughs> that's a nice one, girl. Hold your fish. And now we have a lunch, fresh lunch. Debris such as logs, palm fronds, sargassum weed, and other are also known as flotsam and jetsam, which attracts a wide variety of sea life by providing food and shelter. As a result, you'll typically find mahi directly under it. That little log can hold those fish, huh? Woo! Holy moly! Yeehaw! Yeah! That's a nice sized bull right there. Yes! Nice! Yeah, baby, look at wow. that one. That's a winner. Let me hold that sucker. All right, let's stick him down in a box. I like fishing. Honey, you got a nice one. Get him, hon. I'm trying. Come on, on your side. There you go. Ooh. Wow. He's a runner. Let's give a kiss. Mm. So I'm shy, it's our first date. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Oh, ooh. Sexy. Yes. Nice one, bro. I'll take that gap. Woo! <laughs> nice job. Woo! Buen trabajo. Gracias. Yes. <laughs> In hopes of weeding out the smaller mahis, we decided to use the live baits from the bait tubes to attract bigger mahi. Big, big mahi right here I got on, I think. Look at that son of a Oh boy. It's another one on the teaser. You gotta be ready. Nice. Sick. Man, the fishing is good today. Mahi for lunch, mahi for dinner. This is mahi Monday. Captain, how big is this one? It's very close to 40 pounders, I guess. It looks big. Dude, look at the size of this mahi. I gotta gaff this thing. I love gaffing these. Alessia, you're gonna wind it in. Smooth, nothing, no pulling, I'll pull. Back up. Lift it. Oh my god. That's what I'm talking about. That's a nice fish. Wow. That, my friends, is a mahi mahi. In case you were wondering what they look like. Everyone loves a giant pole mahi. And people always ask me how to target these big ones. If you put in the work and make a game plan and bring a suitcase of goodies with sabiki rigs, live bait tubes, and Livingston lures, you too can catch a 40 to 50 pound trophy mahi. Fishing chaos. Fish smarter, not harder. Livingston, the difference is clear. 
Celdration, good for you, good for our planet. Celdration is hydration defined. Yeti, built for the wild. We're off the Pacific coast of Guatemala, dragging four teasers and four baits behind the boat. Collectively, we decided to shift our focus from the mahi and instead target sailfish. Now we're just waiting for him to come up. Alessi is working the left side, I'm working the right side. We got them cooking fresh mahi that we just caught down below. Things are looking good. Look at that, thank you. What do we have here? What is it? That's the mahi you just caught. Oh my God. Bon appetit. Wow, thank you very much. That is so good. A fresh guac for the sailboat. I've never finished a sandwich before a sailfish bites. I'm just saying. Right short teaser. I knew it, always. It's right behind your bait now. Let it have it. He's going back. I'm going to lock it up in three, two, one. I cannot believe that just happened. I don't think I've ever made it through even half a sandwich before I got bit. See, right now, I'm just taking up slack, Alessia, because we're going so fast with the fish. All I can do is reel as fast as I can. It just got tight. Coming up, he's probably going to come up right here. The Pacific Sailfish is a highly sought after trophy for both recreational and professional anglers alike. Not only are they extremely powerful, but they are truly beautiful to witness as they dance across the ocean surface. Let's get a hook out. They are still delicate creatures and that's why Guatemala and Pacific Fins encourages you to make a quick release, allowing them to swim away healthy and unharmed. This allows future anglers to enjoy this experience with a staggering number of sailfish bites each and every day. The crew wastes no time in redeploying the teasers and the baits, always ready for the next bite. There he is. Come on. There he is. We got him. Brought up. Whoa, big boy. Look at that. Woo! Perfect. Great job. Woo! <laughs> this is your first Pacific sail. Oh my God. He likes to jump oh, for me. Yeah. When we touch the red, that's a catch, okay? Just so you know. Okay. Oh, wine. You're sport fishing now, girl. Look at the size of that thing. Wow. Wind that up. He's big, that's enough whining for now. Feel that. Wow, it's like silk. Yeah. Woo! Okay, here we go, here's the release. There are two fish there. Bless you, get a bite. Okay. You're on, hon. There he is, to the left. We're in him, big. Guy might be getting bit right now, Cap. Getting bit. All right. Double. His and hers, baby. Today's special on the Maverick is a his and her sailfish double. There he is. Hey. You are so sport fishy right now. Woo! P look. I'm looking, babe. Wow. Good job. All right, I'm still on one. I'm busy. Gotta go back to work, hon. Hey. Holy <laughs> That thing is lit. Man, look at him going away. Good job. Today, we visit Avocado Mountain near the city of Antigua, a place where the locals are known as Panza Verde, or Green Belly, because of the area's reliance on avocado in their daily diet. We're gonna take this pickup truck okay. because uh, it's a little bit far away to walk up. It's gonna be a bouncy ride. Yeah. I think we might need a new truck. <laughs> Welcome to the Montaña El Hato. They have uh, over 450 avocado trees. They have also peach plantations wow. over here. I love these places. A little bit steep going down, so please be careful. Okay. This is the first fruits of the year. 
in about two weeks are gonna be bigger. Right after that, they are ready to harvest. Okay. I like the whole fact that it's all organic, which is very important today. The Haas avocado has delicious flavor, and because of its ability to be harvested all year long, it has become the top-selling avocado in the United States. On the 1926, they arrived here and then found this beautiful avocado like me, and huge. Oh, and then okay. they found another variety. And then they put all this together in California, getting like a cross genetic. Finally, they developed the, the avocado that's called Has. Now it's very famous, but originally came from Guatemala. Yeah, guacamole. Ah, uh, so this is the one? I think so. So what I normally do is I go ahead and marinate the onions first. So I start always at the eye and I go around the world and then I twist it ever so gently. Nice. Beautiful. This is my grandma's recipe. My grandma would always say it's all about presentation. Mm -hmm. And then you sprinkle cilantro. Ooh. I like that. There you have it. What do you think? Mmm, mmm, good. <laughs> that is so good. Salt Life sunglasses. See clearly. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Invincible. When you're serious. Mercury. Go boldly. Guatemala has given me so much, and I believe it's very important to always give back. ¿A quién le gusta pescar? No. Yeah? Luckily, my partners, Salt Life, share the same values and kindly donated a ton of performance gear for the future fishermen of Estapa. Those are for the niñas and they're here for the niños. Esta para ti. Yo tengo una igualita. A ver, para ti. Which one you like? You like that one? Okay. Who's the, who's the next big guy? ¿Te gusta esta? Okay, a ti. Pez vela y mahi, tuna y swordfish y grand slam. Bringing smiles to these children's faces is such a rewarding experience. Offshore fishing in Guatemala has proven time and time again to be one of the best fishing destinations in the world for traveling fishermen. Meanwhile, the locals focus on inshore, catching a wide assortment of fish for market. I wanted to change up my game plan and see what types of fish were roaming the jetties near the coastline. It feels like you would totally catch a fish here. It's so quiet. Oh, Alex really knows this spot, huh? Because he's fished here a few times. Oh, we got nervous there. Jetties also double as artificial reefs for a plethora of fish. But they, they swim way off that wall. They're like, no, I don't want to be there. Some use it to hide from predators, and others use it to ambush their prey. We got something on here. What is? It looks like a snapper. Nice. Woo! <laughs> That's a nice snapper. Yeah. A little uh, night fishing, a little kubera. Caught on a live blue runner. We're about to put out another one right there at that last spot. Look at the size of that tail on that thing. All right, here we go again. This is a good one. Angry, man. Wait, no, no, no. I can't stop him. The natural instinct of a fish living near or in jetty crevices is to swim back into its rock den when hooked, ultimately trying to break free of the hook and line. There we go. Woo. I think we got him away from the rocks, which is good. It's a big fish, dude. It seems angry. Hopefully it doesn't shake off. The pressure is on. Jeez, dude. What is this? This is a big fish, man. This is the real deal right here. I don't know what it is, man, but I'm excited. I just saw it. This? I think it's a big snapper. It look red, right? That's some Roja. Here it is. Holy Get him! <laughs> Oye, como va? <laughs> Me ritmo bueno para cozar. 
That thing is a jumbo. What? What is this? What just happened? This thing is like 40 pounds. It's so dense, it's so heavy. This just made my whole day. He has a nice size. See? Never surrender. Woo! Look at the difference. <laughs> I can't even lift it. There's no place like Pacific Fins. Guatemala is always full of surprises. When we came out to fish tonight, there was no way I would drink? ever imagine this outcome. Guatemala has become like a second home to me, and I can't wait to return to this aquatic playground. For additional content and social media, please visit us at unchartedwaterstv.com.